So when a patient first presents to a cardiology office, we always do an electrocardiogram, which is just a one-time snapshot of what the heart looks like at that moment. From the electrocardiogram though, we can gather, number one, is the patient having an arrhythmia or irregular heart rate right then and there. We can see if the patient had an old heart attack. We can see if the patient has an enlarged heart. We can see if they've had uncontrolled high blood pressure for a long time. But we can't predict whether when they walk out of that office, they're gonna have a heart attack based on an electrocardiogram alone. So the next step we do to look for risk of heart attacks is to have someone walk on a treadmill or exercise in some way and then take images of the heart. The quick and dirty stress test is just hooking you up to an electrocardiogram, having a doctor or nurse take your blood pressure while you're exercising and have you walk on a treadmill. And every three minutes, the treadmill gets a little faster and a little steeper. And then what we do is we examine the electrocardiogram while you're exercising. And there are classic signs on the electrocardiogram that show us that the heart's not getting enough oxygen. 